Hello, Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Abdul Rahman. Okay, now I will continue with the question. Okay, for the first one, define the terms of electrical conductor. Okay, what we know is electrical conductor is an object or a material that allows electric charge to flow in one or more direction. Electrons are allowed to flow between the atoms of that material with drift velocity in the conduction band. For example, a wire is an electrical conductor that can transfer electricity over a long distance. Okay, that's for conductor. Now I will go through the question. Define the term of cable insulator. Okay, what is insulator? Insulator is the process of spread to conducting materials by stopping the flow of electricity from one conductor to another by using a non-conducting material or a material that can be used to insulate. Insulator materials include cable insulation, which is to prevent electricity from conducting outside of the cable. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. Good day, doctor. My name is Chong Ming Li, AE190105. Today, I will present about discussion and conclusion. So, I will begin with discussion first. Through this lab, we are able to determine single-phase electrical wiring installations for lighting circuit one NOS lamp connection controlled by one unit one-way switch in residential building. Besides, we know to draw the wiring diagram for the circuit. Lighting circuit is a connection of one or more lights controlled by a simple switch. This kind of connection mainly used in interior electrical installation. Power circuit is a circuit that used to carry electricity that operates a lot. It means the circuit of power pack such as power supply and power conversion. Switch is an electrical component. It can make or break electrical circuit automatically or manually. It works with on which is open and off which is closed system. A one-way switch has two contacts which means that the two terminals are connected when the switch is turned on or off. The switch consists of switch and plate, which are the parts that everyone deals with daily. The second one is wires and the third one is terminals which makes a direction for the wires as controlled by the position of the switch. Next is conclusion. After this lab, we can understand wiring regulations. In UK, wiring regulations are a national standard for electrical wiring. This standard shows the requirement for installation of fixed cabling within a building. It is important to make sure that the adherence of safety and proper practice. It also covers the trial of wiring. We also gain skills to determine the type of lighting circuit and know the proper usage of related tools according to desired application. Besides, we know the skills to draw the house plan and wiring diagram of the circuit. It is important to draw the diagram because circuit elements can be emphasized and we can know their functions relate to each other. Furthermore, we gain knowledge on electrical wiring accessories and symbols. These symbols are vital when doing electrical drawing and electrical circuits. In future, we can draw an electrical plan to prevent hazardous problems and ensure that our system can run safely and efficiently. That's all for me. Thank you, Doctor.